part of our final project on 1984, we decided to make a presentation on the thematic analysis and the devices found in the book. So our first theme is technology and modernization. So 1984 was actually written in 1949, which was released in 1999. But Orwell was trying to show or also warn people of the possible future that was coming up for them. As you can see in our project in the side of our interview with Orwell, you can see that he was trying to talk about Hitler and the war and that really affected it. So the book was just trying to show what the future and how bad it could look for us. And so since it's based on 1984, which is the future, we can see some features that are new technologies for the people who are reading it back then. Two distinctive objects that you can see are the telescreens and the microphones. The telescreens were definitely like helpers that ensured that people were brainwashed in Oceania. Uh, the party had control over everyone because everyone had a telescreen inside their, their homes and they were also spread out through Oceania in the streets and there were also micro microphones placed everywhere so the inner party could hear and also see people and this is how they actually found Winston and Julia um, they just they use these to keep people in line and control everyone and also you can tell by the telescreens and the microphones that there was literally like no privacy in Oceania um, also it would have been really hard to spread all the propaganda that is used in the world of 1984 without the technology shown. So I found two quotes from the book that support um, my argument, which is the first quote it talks about the telescreens and how you can see that everything was picked up by the, the telescreen and Winston tried to hide um, how he felt when at the beginning of the book when he started writing that he hated Big Brother but at the end of the book we, we know that the, the, the telescreen even picked that up and then the second quote you can see that the microphones were also placed throughout London which made it easier to find people or discover people who were like rebelling or thought differently from what the party allowed the second theme is loyalty. Throughout the novel, George Orwell exposes the reader with examples where the loyalty is at risk among the characters. The party encourages the people to tell of each other and create no trust among them because Big Brother is always watching. In a world where you have to go by the rules or die, people have a feeling of persecution, so they're no longer living, they're always scared. Some examples found in the book are number one julian winston in room 101 as soon as both characters have to choose between their lives or their loved ones they jeopardize their love winston says do it to julia do it to julia not me julia i don't care what you do to her tear her face off strip her to bones not me julia not me part three another quote is the Parsons family and how their kids tell of their own dad. It was my little girl, said the Parsons with a sort of doleful pride. She listened at the keyhole, heard what I was saying and nipped off to the patrols the very next day. Pretty smart for a sniper of seven, huh? I don't bear her any grudge for it. In fact, I'm proud of her. It shows I brought her up in the right spirit anyway. Page 245. And the last example is Mr. Charrington, the owner of the shop who betrays Julia and Winston when they were hiding in his place. When the iron voice behind the picture orders them to remain exactly where they are, make no movement until you're ordered, page 230, is when Winston and Julia know that Mr. Charrington, who was the only one who knew they were hiding there, betrayed them. The third theme is manipulation, and this is shown in the book in many ways. 
The party wants to control everything people think and do. They try to change history by editing past newspapers and documents so that they agree with the version of history that they are sticking to at the moment. People are forced to believe whichever version is being told. The party also keeps telling people that Oceania is at war with one of the other two super states, which are Eurasia and East Asia, and they claim that they have always been at war with one of them, although they constantly change which one this is. However, if there are suspicions that the war might not even be real. The party also manipulates the numbers and percentages that they post on newspapers. They claim that the rations that are being distributed to people are increasing, but in reality, they are decreasing. And manipulation can be seen in the book in the following quotes. First of all, and if all others accepted the lie which the party imposed, if all records told the same tale, tale, then the lie passed into history and became truth. Who controls the past, ran the party slogan, controls the future. Who controls the present, controls the past. Another quote which shows manipulation is when Winston said, For how could you establish even the most obvious fact when there existed no record outside your own memory. There was no knowing how much of this legend was true and how much was invented. And he said this because there was no concrete evidence of anything that happened in the past, so he only had his memory, but he couldn't rely totally on his memory. Moving on to literary devices. Our first literary device is imagery. Imagery is basically descriptions in the book of the characters of the setting, which helps you helps the reader put themselves in the in the setting of the book. Um, here you can see a quote from 1984, which describes the community caf cafeteria where Winston has to eat every single day, and it gives you this the feeling of how lonely and kind of depressing the place can be, and it's especially repetitive because. This is actually just one day of Winston's life, but it's every single day. Another one is illusion. Illusion is the technique in which the author connects real events with their narrative without directly naming it as such. In 1984, the communism in Europe was rising. Therefore, the novel makes many indirect references to this time. For this reason, the novel can be compared to the Nazi Germany or the Stalinist Russia in many aspects. For example, in Chapter 2, Orwell describes the spies as a group of children whose pur purpose is to gather information on members of the community and report misconduct to the party. This allusion to Hitler youth of Nazi Germany or to the Gestapo. Another one of the literary devices is irony. This is an expression of meaning that is deliberately contradictory to what is expected, and it is very obvious in the book. An example would be the party slogan, which is, War is peace, ignorance is strength, freedom is slavery, and this is repeated throughout the novel many times. The first part of the slogan is contradictory since Oceania seems to be in a never-ending war, and the statement that war is peace and freedom is slavery is showing irony since they are opposites and one wouldn't expect that one thing means its opposite. Another literary device is repetition. And this is used a lot in the in the book because the same phrases are repeated over and over throughout the book. Phrases like brother is big brother is watching you, war is peace, ignorance is strength, freedom is slavery. And these lines are repeated in order to emphasize the point that the party is in control and that it can manipulate the people in any way they want. Our last literary device is symbolism. A symbol is a literary device that represents an abstract idea, but it's veiled by the literary trans transla translation alone. There are many uh, signs of symbolism in 1984. One example could be the memory holes, which are destruction of the past. This shows how the government could delete whatever they didn't agree with, and it could change history over and over again, and people would actually believe it, and they would just forget it in an instant. Another big symbol is Big Brother, who is 
warm and fuzzy to those who confirm, but the, it is also threatening to those who are who 